everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on the film Despicable Me. Now as you know Despicable Me is a 2010 computer animated comedy film that was the first film made and created by Illumination Entertainment. That also did films like The Grinch, Hop, Sing, as well as The Lorax. And I would say with Despicable Me is that it's meant to be the first film in the film series. Also as well having two other sequels, one of which being Despicable Me in 2013, as well as Despicable Me 3 in 2017. Now, the premise of the film is meant to be about Gru, who is this long-time supervillain whose plan is to steal the, the moon after seeing the announcements of the Great Pyramid of Giza being stolen by a sort of newer, more younger, and more ace villain known as Vector. So of course we kind of see how Gru is able to kind of manipulate these three orphan girls into trying to steal a, shink, a sort of shrink way, as well as over time starts to kind of bond with the young girls. And I think their character personalities do work. Like, you can kind of tell Margot is meant to be the more of the voice of reason and more meant to be the leader. Edith is basically meant to be the kid who's into more boyish things, and Agnes is more of the young, sort of, youngest member. And I would say, for the most part, it does give Groot more time to kind of bond with the girls and start to kind of figure out what's more important. But I think what the film gets wrong a little bit is the executions. I feel like we never really do see Groot trying to make the money back from the bank he's trying to get the money from. And it was even stated by the guy who runs the bank that if they don't get the money back, then yeah, they were gonna, he was going to get in serious trouble. And it never really felt resolved. And I kind of felt with Groot's mum, I kind of feel she's thrown in there to be a kind of foil to Groot. Like, you can kind of tell she announces she's proud of him at the end, but it doesn't really feel rewarded. And I also kind of feel there's some things I think are poorly executed, but there is some good ideas. And I would say for the most part, Despicable Me does work like a film. I think when you've got the, the villain in the film, Vector, you can tell he's meant to be a counterpart to Gru. Unlike Gru, who is meant to realise what really mattered, Vector is supposed to kind of be the opposite of Gru. Narcissistic, arrogant, believing himself to be the biggest thing out there. And I think it really does work. And I know a lot of people complain about the minions in the film, but really, they're not that bad. I feel they're just prone in there to be the kind of comedy relief characters, and are meant to be Illumination's iconic kind of characters, like the poster boys. And I think what's in in interesting is, on Margot's t-shirt, you do see the Lorax on it. And it's kind of ironic how in two years later, we would eventually get the Lorax film that was based on Dr. Seuss's book, The Lorax. And I think to me, Despicable Me, in my opinion, is a film with a message about finding what's important. And I think despite the terrible executions, there is some really good ideas, like group kind of figuring out what's more important. And I kind of feel when the girls kind of feel like responsible for screwing up his big chance, they do offer to help him out fund his rocket ship, which I think is a really fantastic and good idea. So I think for the most part, the film definitely deserves a thumbs in the middle. It's all right, but not great, but it's still a hit and miss. And I think this was when, in my opinion, 2010 was still young, offering newer and better ideas. So, comic book reviewer here, signing out.